Hello, this is Jay Harrell, and you're listening to Pneumonia, Prevention is Better Than Treatment Podcast. I had a vision in my day sleep. My health and wealth was finally got a rising peak. Thinking if there was more unity in my community, there'd probably be a better me. I pray to God, I'm getting older now. World on my shoulder now. Takes more accountability. It's not just me. I take care of now. Pneumonia is an infection of one of the lungs. Many germs, such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi, can cause pneumonia. You can also get pneumonia by inhaling a liquid or a chemical. Most people at risk are older than 65 or younger than two years of age or already have health problems. Did you know that globally, pneumonia kills nearly one million children younger than five years of age each year. The number of children killed by pneumonia is greater than the number of deaths from any infectious disease such as HIV infection, malaria, or tuberculosis. The CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, states that 61.3% of adults 65 years of age and over has had a pneumococcal vaccination. Did you also know that 53,200 people died in 2013 of pneumonia? Pneumonia was responsible for 1.1 million hospital inpatient discharges in 2010. The average stay lasted five days. That tells you that pneumonia is a major problem in the United States. We have to do something about it. The way you test for pneumonia, first, your doctor needs to get your medical history by a physical exam and lab test to diagnose it. Treatment depends on what type you have. If a bacterial pneumonia is called the cause, antibiotics should help. If you have a viral pneumonia, your doctor may prescribe antiviral medications to treat it. Learn more about the common causes of pneumonia at the CDC website. The link is on my post at J. Harrell. You know what? Prevention is always better than treatment. Vaccines are available to treat pneumococcal pneumonia and the flu. Other preventive measures include washing your hands frequently and not smoking. J. Harold realizes that taking injections and shots from anybody, uh, especially African American, is a cause for concern. I do remember and read about the Tuskegee syphilis study that will make any black person uncomfortable with healthcare professionals. J. Harold has a post talking to your doctor presents challenges for challenges for African Americans that looks at this somewhat different, difficult interaction between doctors and black people. Well, despite these problems, vaccines are useful in the prevention of pneumonia. You need to take a, a pneumonia shot. Jay Harrell highlights information about pneumonia vaccines in a link on the post. You can also look at the various pneumonia type vaccines. There are two types. One is a uh, Pneumovar 13 is recommended for children five years and younger, all adults 65 or older, or people four to 64 with certain medical conditions. Pneumovax 23 is the one that's cur currently recommended for almost all the adults 65 and older. It's also good for children two years and older and at high risk for pneumococcal disease, sickle cell, HIV, and other immunocompromised conditions. It's also recommended for the rest of us. Adults 19 to 64 years who smoke cigarettes or have asthma. The bottom line is pneumonia is no joke. Protect yourself. Hospitalized patients require antibiotics and around-the-clock care. There are several things you can do to protect yourself. The CDC has several recommendations. Try to avoid contact with sick people. 
While sick, limit contact with others as much as possible to keep from infecting them. Following good hygiene practices also can prevent respiratory infections. The hygiene practices include washing your hands regularly, cleaning frequently touched surfaces, and coughing and sneezing into your elbow or sleeve. How many people actually do that? You can also reduce your risk of getting pneumonia by limiting exposure to cigarette smoke and treating conditions like diabetes. Learn more by visiting, visiting the Medline Plus website or the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute's pneumonia website. Both of those links are on J. Harrell's post on pneumonia. J. Harrell is always looking out for your health. Like, follow J. Harrell on Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and iTunes.